th- I think a lot of people have actually forgotten uh, a lot of how women used to dress back in the day, actually. Mm. Um, and there is a perception, particularly amongst the youth here, amongst um, with modern waves of feminism, that actually the way we dress was has never been particularly similar, similar to mm. how Muslim women dress. Um, and it's actually quite convenient with the policies that France have made uh, recently with banning yeah. um, the face veil and the headscarf mm-hmm. and just generally with the trajectory within Europe um, mm-hmm. it's it's convenient because the mode of dress of Muslim women um, gets affected like it's yeah. the most different I suppose now mm-hmm. modern in modern times what do you think about yeah. that yeah um, like you said they've just they've looked at modern beauty standards in this century in this age yeah um, and decided that everyone needs to ascribe to the same um and not taken into account that actually beauty standards have been changing and evolving yes. for years and years. Yeah. Um, and that their own, as, as I mentioned before, their own history is rooted in Catholicism and yeah. that image of the Virgin Mary, who is completely covered mm. um, and modest. So it's not that far out from their own history. Yeah. But as you say, the youth have, um, kind. they just, they cannot even recall that history yes, anymore. They don't have a memory in a way. And yeah. I think, I mean, we, with one of the videos that we're going to show, the last video that we will uh, just have a chat about, mm. um, wh- one of the uh, comments was related to um, him basically noting that in the past there were w- lots of women who in his local area who wouldn't actually step outside the house (laughs) without wearing some kind of covering on their head, which was interesting because even from my perspective, Mm -hmm. you, we don't really have a memory of this. And so Mm -hmm. if you don't see it, then you feel like it's never really happened. It becomes other to you and to your experience. Thus it's not, you know, accepted. Yeah. Um, And I think that that acceptance and tolerance has rapidly decreased in yeah. France mm. um, because of the far right kind of climate and stigmatizing Muslims and I don't know we're headed towards um, tricky let's say economic times yes, the worry yeah. is that that um, divide is going to get even greater as yeah. we mentioned before and um, they'll be scapegoated exactly, essentially yeah. in the political rounds mm. that they're having every few years so that's very true yeah. it was interesting actually my great grandmother my mum would tell me this about my mm. great grandmother that she always used to cover her hair and she's from eastern europe she's of a romanian background mm-hmm. So she would tell me tales about, you know, how l- really long her hair was yeah. and how she would meticulously like look after it, but she would always cover it. Mm. Um, and she, yeah, she would always wear a headscarf and she was like this tiny, uh, tiny little lady. But um, it was it was definitely and I think it is still part of the culture in Eastern Europe where mm. you go to church, you cover your hair. That's yeah. actually a very common practice. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah, it's yeah. the same in, in the States, actually, especially in a lot of southern communities. Oh, right. OK. And still, they'll go out with a triangular scarf around their hair or to church with a hat on. Oh, um, yes. OK. And really modestly to church. So, it's yeah, a, it's still happening there. But obviously, um, the kind of religious lean is different between America and Europe. Yes, um, yeah. And in the UK, even yeah. in the UK, like going to church here when I was younger, they d- most women, I remember seeing one woman who would cover her hair like in an actual sort of turban style or mm. kind of traditional headscarf, mm. you know, kind of style, but nobody else would. And mm. it, pe- people, especially the youth, would use it as an opportunity to kind of, flaunt their new clothes or flaunt whatever Mm -hmm. um so it's quite different so I think the separate cultures are kind of kind of different but definitely in eastern Europe it was still a thing now Mm -hmm. um but it seems to have kind of gone out of the memories of the youth in the UK in particular and in western Europe I feel so if we go and have a look at this one interesting video I saw this a couple of months ago uh, it was on one of, I think it was on a, some kind of Islam media channel or something, mm-hmm. but I th- it, the title of it struck me at first and then it, it was actually quite interesting seeing um, the contents.
lots of people were kind of debating in the comments as yeah. to why they might be covering in that yeah. way. I mean, I don't know what, what you think of the I mean, video. I think uh, a lot of people of the older generation might remember, as you said, their yeah. grandmothers um, wearing a, a scarf in a similar way. Yeah. Um, yeah, it just speaks to the fact that it is not so other. Is yes, it? exactly. Particularly yeah. because I think that was um, that video was um, said to be in London in yeah. 1902. So that's not <laughs> that long ago either, is it? No, it's not. Not at all. No. Um, some people were saying it because they would I think some people are grappling with the idea like oh that's quite shocking mm. um I've never seen that like actual British or English people are saying oh um there must be a reason why they were wearing that and yeah. some some were saying it might be because there was coal mining nearby I mean it's a London London video I don't know about coal mining near London I don't yeah. it was mostly in the Midlands I thought coal mining yeah, I mean I worked in an old Birmingham, old coal yeah. mining town it's in interesting because they look like a working class don't yeah. they it yeah was, um in general, when we look back, we think about um, those that were covered were usually upper class. Um, okay. But now we can see that it's kind of, you know, it's across across classes, across socioeconomic classes. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I thought that was that was an interesting video.